So this is the brand new Cinepair WeBuild 3E. It's the latest lineup in the WeBuild Gimbal series by Zion. And this is the gimbal right here. Now, make sure you take a look at the link in the description to find out all of the key specifications and features and capabilities of this brand new gimbal. But I'm just going to put up a little picture which shows eight highlights of this gimbal on the screen now. So make sure to pause this video if you want to read this in more details. But I do recommend to find all of the full list of features on the website by using the link in the description. Let's start off by taking a closer look at the design. But before we get into that, I do have to mention that you have to spend about 10 minutes when you are doing the setup and balancing of your camera on this gimbal. You need to make sure the camera itself is very steady when you're facing it horizontally on the pan. When you tilt it upwards, it shouldn't actually fall over. And in fact, no matter what position you place it, it should remain in that position. Once you have followed the exact balancing tutorials, then you are ready to use this to its full capability. I'll also put a link in the description of how you can do the setup and balancing, all the tutorials to get you up and running as quickly as possible. So having said that, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the Webuilt 3E. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the design. It does come with this two-tone color with this little soft gray and black rubber grips. It is actually lightweight and very easy to hold. And I do like the feel of this in your hand. You can actually use this for many hours on the go when you are doing your filming. Now, before I turn this on, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the buttons. You have yourself the shutter button, mode and joystick. You have yourself the OLED digital display. On this side, you have the power button, the menu button, and obviously the menu control wheel. And we'll look at some of the menu options which you can use to actually customize some of the buttons on the gimbal. And on the back, you have yourself the trigger and the multi-function control wheel. And we'll show what all of these do as well. You have yourself the USB-C charging port for the gimbal and you can get a very long 16 hours on a full charge. And then you also have another USB-C port here just next to the mounting plate. So you can use this to connect via the Type-C to Type-C camera cable to control your camera. This gimbal also has Bluetooth capability as well. So you can use this to connect to any compatible camera that does have Bluetooth wireless remote control connections and use that rather than the cable. It does come with a USB-A to USB-C cable as well to charge up the gimbal in the box, in addition to an Allen key and a user manual. So let's go ahead and turn this on. This has very smooth operations. Everything is customizable via the menu items, so you can actually change the speed and the length of time of how some of the pan, roll, and tilt axes actually move. But I'm gonna leave everything on default and showcase some sample videos that I've taken with this using the default settings. So let's take a look at some of the modes. You have pan follow, you have locked, then you have follow. If you double press, this goes to POV. Whilst it's on POV, if you double press, this goes into vortex mode. You can see my camera is now facing upwards and you can use this to create some nice little inception type 360 degree shots using the joystick at the same time. And if you double press again, it goes into P which is portrait mode. And then you can use this to create vertical videos like so. And you can get some really good shots for your TikTok or your Instagram using the vertical shooting. And I will take some sample videos using this mode as well. You just double press and you'll come back to POV. Single press will take this back to pan follow. So I'm going to take a lot of shots using multiple different modes like I've just shown you. But one thing I also want to show you is the menu item. So the control wheel at the back, I'm going to slide it. You can see right now it's tilting the camera on the roll axis. And you can actually change this. So let's take a closer look at the menu. If you hit the menu button on the side, you can see, you can change the motor. You can slide down and look at advance, BLE shutter, wheel function, wheel set, joystick, trigger, vortex, trajectory, angle, default. So plenty of customizable options for all the different types of mode that this gimbal provides. If I go into, for example, wheel function, right now it's set to roll. If I switch this to pitch, and now if I use the control wheel, you can see the camera is rotating up and down on the pitch. So that is very customizable and you can do a lot of things through the menu. Now, if we go into advanced, you can here change the speed. You can set actually the timings 
of how fast you want this to move when you are using the gimbal. So right now the default you can see for the tilt, roll and pan is set to 100. If you wanted to adjust that, you select it and then you can cycle through whichever number you would like to make it. But for me, I'm actually going to leave it at the default 100 just to show you out of the box the capabilities of this gimbal. Now one thing I really like about this gimbal is just how smooth the axis actually moves. Whether you're using the joystick or the trigger button, it just moves very smoothly and that's one thing you really want to get when you are doing your filming is to have the shots to be as stable and as smooth as possible. Now with the algorithm of the stabilization in this WeBuild 3E, I'm just really impressed. It's by far, you know, one of my favorite camera gimbals that I've actually used. And if I just reset this, you can see this nice slow transition back to center. If I triple click to rotate it all the way around to get some selfie videos, then again, it's just a very quick and smooth way that this actually performs. I'm going to go ahead and step outdoors now, take a few shots using the gimbal, using multiple different modes like I've just shown you, just so you can see the capabilities of how great this gimbal is to use. Of course, make sure to always check the link to find out the maximum payload, if your camera is compatible with the cable connection or a Bluetooth connection, all of those types of things, make sure to find out by checking out the Xeon website. So now let's go ahead and take a look at a montage of shots that I've taken with this gimbal. In my mouth is a desert. Tip of my tongue. I can taste your lies. How to measure the love you throw around. I could never hold you down. You told us the only so full of emotion. And that's it guys, the video as you saw was very smooth. I tried to create as many cinematic movements with the gimbal, whether that's me just using different modes or actually using the control wheel to make the roll axis rotate. I just felt like, you know, this is going to be the perfect gimbal to use for my Sony a7C. And there's not much more else I can say, apart from this is really great value for money. If you guys have any other questions or comments about this gimbal, make sure to drop them down below. I review gimbals and all things tech all the time, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos, and I will see you all at the next one. Take care.